Hey everyone, I'm Phil and this is Everything Spicy. How we doing, man? I'm early. You know, I was late last night. I'm going to be early today. I um, was going to do something on Facebook and didn't get much of a response. So I thought, you know what? Instead of just sitting around, uh, I would come on early. So what's up, Faith of the Fallen? What's up, Crazy Hands here? What's up, Crazy Ann? How you doing? How you doing, Sam? Keeping it spicy, hanging with Phil. Love my friends. How you doing? A bunch of pana crime in the West. What's up, Once Upon a Crime? How you doing, man? Good to see you in here. We got three people in the house already. You guys, as you coming in, please, please hit the thumbs up. Share the stream out. Peppers in Kentucky living. What's up, man? How you doing? With my friend, Crazy Ann. Hey, 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 hey. How you doing, Crazy Ann? What's up, Jeremy? Oh, my goodness. We got five people in the house. We got Rots Ones in the house. What's up, Rots One? Peppers in Kentucky living. Say hey to Crazy Ann. Hey, Crazy Ann. Yeah, I'm over here, Kazan. What's up, man? Oh, I gotta get the phone going. Phil, everyone, what's up, man? Oh, man. There we go. Crazy Ann's already shared me out. Look at that. What a girl, I tell you. Hey, Rots. Pepper Kentucky lives saying, hey, Rots. Jane, keep it spicy. Saucy Shane, what's up? Saucy Shane, what's up, man? Keep it spicy. Keep it saucy, brother. Keep it saucy. How you doing, man? Good to see you. Uh, Ross one's got, I love Ross one. He's got the guy with a little hand up. So, Once Upon a Crime in the West, got the thumbs up. Thank you, Once Upon a Crime in the West. What we just call you, Crime or West? What we call you? That's too, that's too much a shout out every time. Peppers in Kentucky lives and saying hi to Shane. Ross one saying hi to Peppers. Saucy Shane saying hey to his brother Jeremy. Peppers in Kentucky live and they say hey, Once Upon a Crime. What is happening? Oh, my goodness. So, yeah, I'm on here a little bit early. Hope I didn't throw everybody off. Faith or Sam is saying hi to Crazy Ann or Crazy Sister. Peppers, Kentucky, living saying hi to Sam. Crazy Ann saying hi to Faith. The following there, my friend, <coughs> Karen Clarence. I hope you like my thumbnail, Carolyn. <laughs> Saucy Shane saying hello, Sam. What's upon a crime saying hey to Pepper? Faith is following me in Pepper. Pepper is a Kentucky little saying hi to Carolyn. Faith in the fall is saying hi to Shane. And Saucy Shane saying be right back. We just got here. Why are you be right back already? You already leaving? And of course, Crazy Ann's got everybody on the list. Boom, 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 boom. Hey, everyone. Uh, got everyone going. So, and one of the things we will be doing tonight. Oh, yeah. You may have seen this on, a, on another show. Yep, yep, Bruce Smith. Ah, uh, Bruce Smith, I am on. I'm doing it on YouTube now. All right, so the creator finally gives me a thumbs up about 10 minutes after I jumped off of Facebook. So Rock One saying hi to Crazy Ann. So, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, he uh, puts some different tinctures, some different things into a... Soft pretzel, I will tell you right now that it smells like it's going to hurt. Um, not quite the sprinkles on it. He's got some stuff kind of toasted onto it. He said not quite the sprinkles that were on other ones, but um, definitely he's used more powder and more stuff in, in the mix. So it's going to be a hot, hot challenge of a pretzel. So got a little something in my stomach to make sure uh, I don't uh, wind up with cramps. Don't want to wind up with cramps, right? You know, I've, I've dealt with cramps. Already once this week. So, yeah, no, I got something in my stomach. What's up, Brian, my Michigander brother? How you doing? Good to see you in here. Crazy hand saying hi to Carolyn Kennard. <clears throat> How is this? How you doing? Oh, so, guys, share us out. Make sure you hit the thumbs up. <clears throat> Let's bring some people in here. Let's get a drink. Saucy Shane saying hi to Carolyn. Ah, I think I'm throwing people off. Coming on 20 minutes early. I used to not give anybody any heads up. It's all right. So this shouldn't this shouldn't throw anybody off. Saucy Shane saying hi to Carolyn. Crazy Ann saying hi to Brian, my Michigander brother from another mother. What's up, man? Oh, yeah, we get some people in here. Get this thing rocking and rolling this evening. So um, also we can talk about an unboxing. Now I will tell you on this unboxing that we're about to do, or we are going to do, um, it has already been unboxed, just so you know. It has already been unboxed. So it's kind of going to be like a reveal thing. So, you know, guys, you're going to understand. It's already been unboxed. We're just going to kind of reveal something to you. So you get an idea. Saucy Shane, like your new name. Sherry and Ricky Vlogs. What's the link for YouTube? 
Well, here we go. We go to go uh, share. We're gonna go. Do, 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 do. Keep it, keep on, uh, keep it on, guys. No, oh, the phone's gonna take its sweet time today. Here, copy link. Boom, 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 boom. And we are gonna go there, and we're gonna go there, and we're gonna go there, and we're gonna go there. Boop, paste, boom. There it is. There she is. There we go. Crazy Ann saying hi to Saucy Shane. Carolyn Canard saying, Crazy Ann, I'm okay. It's always good to hear, Carolyn. That makes my day when I know that my friend Carolyn Canard is feeling good, man. That makes my day. It's good to hear that things are going good with her. Sherry Ricky Block saying hi, y'all. Saucy Shane saying hey to Crazy Ann. Crazy Ann saying hi to Carolyn. Much love to you, sis. All right. Smash the thumbs up. Share us out, guys. Let's bring some people in here. We only got eight in the house right now. Let's get my my fault, man. It's my fault for coming on here early, you know. People, you know, I throw people out. People are probably out doing other things right now, hanging out in other panels and whatnot. Hey, beautiful Crazy Ann from Sherry and Ricky Vlogs. Crazy Ann with a big old heart. Oh, my goodness. All right, we got 12 people in the house. All right, we're getting up there. We're getting up there. Uh, who else would probably, I don't know who's on on Wednesday night. I don't know who's on Wednesday night. Bill, are you getting notified my new videos? Um, you know what? I don't know. I get so many stupid notifications. I got to go through and take care of some of these, but I'm getting notifications on a lot of stuff. Yeah, but you're not getting notifications on everything. So. Loving the new name. Carolyn Kennard, loving the new name of Saucy Shane. Yeah, probably a good idea to get that Smithson off of there, huh, Shane? <clears throat> as, they, as you start growing, man, you know, you don't want to have them all that personal information out there, right? That's what they keep telling. That's what people keep telling me. Now, of course, me, you know, everybody knows my first and last name. You, figure out my email address you can figure everything out you gotta know who i am melanie the moderator good evening how you doing melanie the moderator good to see you in here saucy shane thank you so much carol melanie moderator good evening mods this whole room is full of nothing but mods crazy hands saying hi to melanie melanie saying good evening to the chat oh my goodness so yeah one of those days i had a really uh actually busy day today at work so stayed really really busy which actually really good Good evening, Crazy Ann. How are you from Millennium Moderator? Chad Pedley, what's up, man? Hey, Phil, I haven't caught you live in a while. Well, thanks for coming in, brother. I uh, I tried to share this out uh, on my Cap Station crew, and people were just too busy. It seemed like I was probably live for like three or four minutes, and we didn't have any more than like one or two people in there. I thought, you know what? People are doing what they're doing. I just come on here a little bit early. We got Mai in Thailand here. What's up, Mai? How you doing, girl? Shane and Ricky Vlog saying, hey, Shane, Melania Moderator, reminding everybody, smash the like button for the host. Well, that's me. Yeah, it's fine. <clears throat> smash the like button for me. We got one mighty R's in here. Hello, my friend. I've got a few days <clears throat> from off from work. Glad to be here. Glad to see you, man. Saucy Shane. It's over catchy. Hello. It is. Dave, Poems and Songs. What's up, Dave, Poems and Songs? How you doing? <clears throat> now, you girls stay away from the uh, poetry guy, okay? And stay away from the poetry and the song guy. I know how you girls are when a guy starts, you know, doing poetry and singing songs and whatnot. You get all wet in the britches. <clears throat> stay away from Dave, you know. <clears throat> What's up, Dave? You got you got a you got a poem or a song for these ladies? <laughs> good to hear you're doing good, my good to hear. Saw my in Thailand earlier today. I had her playing. Just sit on my phone in the holder while I was charging. Make a comment here, make a comment there while I was uh being busy at work. Work has been giving, again, work's been keeping me really busy lately, so that's awesome. <clears throat> oh, great. Pepper saying hi to one mighty R, one mighty R saying hi to Melanie. Why and Tyler saying hi to Sherry and Ricky. Everything spicy. Singing to me, that is all I need. You are so beautiful. Oh, <laughs> Hello, everyone in the chat from One Mighty R, Melanie the moderator. Hello, one mighty R, Crazy Ann, Sherry, and Ricky Boggs. We got Lizzie Ann in here. What's up, Lizzie Ann? How you doing? How are you doing, Lizzie Ann? Good to see you in here. Hello, Mayan Tyler from Melanie Moderator. Hello, Lizzie Ann, Saucy Shane. Hey there, one mighty R. We got 19 people in the house, and it seems like only like 10 people are commenting in the chat. Maybe that's just me, man. Maybe that's just me. Crazy Ann reminding everybody, smash the like button, share out the stream. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff, man. Share us out. Let's get let's get some people in here. Let's uh 
Let's find some new friends. We can, yeah, we can. While we're in here, we can associate with some new friends, right? You're gonna, if you're gonna hook up with someone in here, make sure you're doing it the right way. Hey, Putt Putt, how you doing, bro? Good to see you in here. Yep, because we do that in here. We uh, we we get we get connected with other people, other friends. Oh, Lizzie Ann, I'm doing good, Phil. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. You know what? I love it the fact that people, man, know my name. That you know, the fact that it's not just spicy, and I do get that. Keep sharing, guys. Let's get some people in here. Um, this is awesome. Brad Muglott still at work. What's up, Brad? I'm gonna guess you're still at work, Brad. You know, I'm just guessing. So we got hand job jackpot. I mean hand pay jackpots in the house. What's up, hand pay? How you doing, man? Good to see you. We got Magnus Johansson. What's up, Magnus? How you doing, man? Good to see you in here. Jerry working vlog saying hi to Brad. My in Thailand saying hi to Brad. Saucy. Shane saying hi to Brad. What's up, all? Lizzie Ann saying hi to Sherry and Ricky Vlog. Circulate TV. I saw your whole, uh, you know I did. I saw your whole little magic wand thing there, man. I like the way you edit all that stuff, Turkey Lake. The whole beginning up to the magical wand, the whole end. I like the way you do that. Now, of course, you know, you get technical with all the woodworking stuff and everything else. But I really like what you do. Oh, oh, here we go. Here is the guy that if I get if I get cramps tonight, this is the guy right here. If I get cramps tonight, this is the guy I gotta blame. Now I've had a little something to eat to make sure that I'm got that hopefully that I won't get cramps tonight. And all we'll be talking about is how hot and how spicy this pep pretzel is. But if I get cramps, this is the guy I'll be messaging at you know two o'clock in the morning. So <laughs> how you doing, Bruce Smith? Anyone got any tips on how to catch a mouse? Sticky traps. Sticky traps with a little peanut butter, man. Peanut butter is one of those things they smell everywhere. Crazy Ann reminding everybody, smash the thumbs up, share out the stream. I appreciate it, Crazy Ann. She's always on the job. Thank you, Phil. I'm trying to keep it at hey, You get like the whole beginning where you're going down. You got your whole little get up on, and you take the suitcase down the stairs, and you go to the front door. Oh, I got to make a wand. That was cool, dude. I really liked that. It was like a production type thing. I mean, I just I just get on here and do what I do. I do even with my sitting in the truck and when I don't have all this pre- stuff that I set up with a camera. You must have a camera. I can't think you're just doing that with a phone. Maybe you are. But I must think you have like some kind of camera set up because you have to have that, you know, thing up at a tripod level when you're like by the front door and whatnot. I don't know. 540 style A L. What's up? How you doing, man? Peanut butter also doesn't go bad while it's in the trap. There you go. I'm an artist family known as Shane Smithson. There you go. Oh, Shane, is the artist family in here? What I, did, did I miss them? Did it jump so bad? No, 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 no. You're the artist also legal. The artist formerly known as Shane Smith. Got it. I was looking for something. Shane, you know you know me, bro. You know me. Hand paint says, says thanks. Or one my yard saying uh, thanks. Uh, there you go. Sherry, you out of my community. Yeah. Thank you, Sherry and Ricky Vlogs. I cannot speak tonight. One mighty R. Hand paint thanks. Sherry and Ricky Vlogs. Style 40, love the torn Selick, Tom Selick mustache. Mrs. Green Thumb is in the house. How you doing, Mrs. Green Thumb? Haven't seen you in a while. My fault, too, man. Haven't been over to check out Mrs. Green Thumb lately. I don't know if she had, you know, the, the whole notification thing. If I see a notification for Mrs. Green Thumb, I'm going over there for a while and just saying hi. But that whole notification thing, man, anymore doesn't seem like uh, it seems like you get notifications for, like, the general stuff and that the people that you really want to watch – other ones you don't seem to get the notifications from. Does it make any sense? No, it doesn't make any sense, but it seems like that's kind, of, kind of how it is. So, my entire land, Mrs. Green, uh, Mrs. Green Thumb from Cherry and Ricky Blot, Saucy Shane saying hi to hand, hand paid Jack Box. Oh, one mighty R. Everybody saying hi to everyone else. Everybody getting to know one another. That's what we should do for the new people coming in. Make sure you hit the subscribe button for me, and you hit the subscribe button for me. And I'll get you back. Sherry Watson, Texas Gurley in the house. What's up? My friend Sherry Watson, how you doing? All right. So do, 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 do. It seems like we're missing some people, man. I know we're missing some people. Putt Putt King, what's up? Mrs. Green Thumb saying hi to Saucy Shane. If you did not know Mrs. Green Thumb, Saucy Shane is actually our friend Shane Smith, and he changed the net chat name of his channel because I love everyone. Reject hate. Ooh, what? I'm kind of the same way, man. You know, I, at the end of the day, 
I'm in it for everyone. Um, love the sweatshirt. Everything's spicy. Well, then let's do this. Since uh, Mrs. Green Thumb was the first one to notice, I'm sure one other person noticed. And I know who that person is. Uh, so if Mrs. Green Thumb let the cat out of the bag, let's show you the sweatshirt. Yes, I got it today. This is my sweatshirt with my logo on it. Everything spicy. With the pepper that and the and the thing that Crazy Ann helped me design, or she designed it. I just put it on my uh, Teespring, and I got my sweatshirt today. Now, it's a little big. I bought it a little big because everybody knows how these sweatshirts are, right? The first time you put that thing in the... Uh, in the washer and dryer, this thing's going to shrink down. So, um, just so you know, uh, they are available. Uh, and if you do want to uh, share the um, share it out, that's fine. Put that in the uh, in the chat. I can't think today. What's up, Lizzie? Yeah, I love the hoodie. Isn't it cool? I love the logo. I mean, Ann made this man. Ann made this little pepper dude. Yeah, you know, I made the I made the slogan "Keep it spicy." But that little pepper dude. Matter of fact, I was making that face for Ann earlier. Like, I, like when I after I ate twenty one Reapers, it was kind of like. <laughs> I look just like you, don't I? <laughs> it's exactly what I was like after 21 Reapers. Steve O. Smitty is in the house. What's up, Steve O. Smitty? Loving it. Sweet. Exactly, right? I think it's awesome. I've got great friends that uh, do a lot of things for everything. I want one with a zipper, please. You know what? I don't know that they have zipper ones on there on Teespring. If they do, we can definitely look at, do, uh, at that. I know my wife would like one with a zipper because... That's what she does. She's got a she's got hoodies that she does, you know. And she she's always got zippers. She's not pulling ones over her head. She's always the one with zippers. So, what's up, JDS? How you doing, my friend? JCT is here. What's up, man? Thank you, Turkey Leg. They are about and guys. Again, this stuff has a very minimal markup. Some some people are really trying to make a killing off of some of their stuff. This stuff on there is a very minimal markup on it. So my two t-shirts are less than two bucks in markup. These have a little bit more markup in them, but not the recommended markup that they do. Uh, you got the hot pretzel, awesome. Yes, I do. I get the I got the hot pretzel. This is my uh, boop. There we go. Teresa Cadero's in the house. What's up? A zipper will be splitting. Yeah, you're right. I want to make something for your channel one day, Phil. Dude, make something. I tell you, dude. I, this channel has been all about you guys, man. This channel has been all about you guys, from my logo here to this, to my banner, to everything that's been on here. This is all been about you guys. You guys have been awesome. You guys are what makes this. I talk about this time and time again. You guys are those on Teespring. Yes, Ann or someone's going to put the link up there. You guys are what makes everything spicy. You know, I am I am just the, I, I'm the idiot that gets up here on the screen and yams and yells and, you know, does stupid stuff to himself. That's all I am. You guys are everything spicy. And I appreciate everything everyone does to build this and to make this such a success. I'm definitely going to get one. They are cool, dude. And this is comfortable, too. Inside, it's definitely a quality shirt. Again, I got one a little bit big because I'm always concerned about when it when it washes, if it's going to get smaller. Because, you know, I'm a kind of a fat guy. I don't want this thing to be skin tight. So to, when I stand up later... I'm gonna I'm gonna look like it's like huge and like a tent on me because most things that are that need to fit me need to be like a tent. But but when it shrinks down, it should be uh it should be the right size. Matter of fact, even after a second washing, a lot of times. So everybody saying hi to everybody else. We got Illusion X9. What's up, man? JDS saying hi to Crazy Ann. So let's do this. I am gonna invite my friends in here. Uh, we are gonna put the link in. And by all means, my friends, uh, Sam, um, Crazy Ann, Justin, if you want to join us, anybody in there want to join, uh, I am going to devour. There's a new merch Crazy Ann just put in there. I am going to devour this pretzel, uh, and we'll see exactly how, how hot you can actually make a soft pretzel. What's up, Crazy Hello. Ann? How you doing, girl? I'm fine. Thank you. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. There's the link, guys. Check it out. Uh, I wish I drew something for the channel, but I can't draw. Now you got a stick figure. That's kind of me, Lizzie. That's kind of me. Do you have to make a new account to change name? No, you don't. Nope, don't have to change. You, I think you, I think you get like one name change or two name changes on an account, and that's it. 
but I'm not 100% sure on any of that. Uh, hand paid jackpots. Not much. Hey, Joey. I'm watching the stream. How are you? All right. Hey, Joe you. W is still awake. What's up, Joe W? Good to see you uh, stayed awake for this. So here is my thought with this pretzel, right? Um, I thought, well, what I should do, let's make sure I'm showing the nicest my address, um, is try it with different types of mustard, right? And anybody that ever eats a, um, there's Faith, Sam. How you doing, Sam? Hey. Anybody hey. that eats ever eat a, as, eat a soft pretzel has probably either done it with like hot cheese on it or has done it with um, Talk. mustard, right? Talk, Sam. Talk, Sam. Robot. Go down. Talk to him. Yes, yes, no. Eileen Baloo, the fam. What's up, Eileen Baloo? Good to see you in here. I got my uh, screen pushed a little bit away from me, so it's going to be a mm. bit of a reach. Not a like. Fuck it. Uh, eventually, you should uh, change your name there, Brad. Eventually, you should at some point. Sooner or later. Yeah. There we go. Sounds better? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Yeah, and there's my buddy Bruce Smith. Hey Bruce, do you want to come up here and uh, explain to people what you uh, put in this? Um, LOL, fuck it. That's Teresa Canero. Uh, if you want to, if you've never done this before, there is a link, Bruce. All you got to do is click on the link, follow the instructions. Make sure you, before you come on, though, you mute YouTube because you'll be on StreamYard. If you come up on the panel, make sure you mute YouTube first. Change it to what? Everything spicy? No. Um, uh, let's see. I don't know what to change it to. You gotta put some thought. You gotta put some good thought into it. I put no thought or very little thought into. I I know what things that I couldn't make it, or I asked for some other ideas that I had. I know what I didn't wind up making it. Um, so I wanted it to be like you know, what was it? Oh, what's that other one I got? Um, feel the uh, I forget what it is, but it was too close to like chase the heat and things like that. So. Decided not to do that. Don't forget to leave a comment. Do the right way. Love y'all. Thank you, One Mighty R. I have, I have no thought. <laughs> oh, look at there. Where'd you get those? <laughs> He's a lucky. <laughs> yeah. There's Bruce. What's up, Bruce? Good, man. Good, man. How you doing, Bruce? Good. So this is this is the guy that I'm either going to be happy with or I'm going to be angry with. <laughs> now, what's up Schaller? how you doing man so uh so bruce tell everybody what i'm about to uh, torture myself with all right so i've made sp uh, spicy pretzels a few times now but i i really like to make soft pretzels and i use the i think it's the food network alton brown recipe but uh just adding pepper flakes crushed pepper pepper powder to that recipe and uh, then just kind of following that along to, to cook them. Now pretzels, when you make them, you have to boil them in uh, like a water slash baking soda mixture. That's what helps give that shiny brown after you bake it. Uh, you also use an, an egg wash and an egg wash has um, egg and water, so it has egg yolk and water. So instead of the water, I used tincture uh, I used um, what's called ignition point on that, so that's a, it's a decent tincture. And then instead of the salt, like you see on the outside of pretzels, I just did a little bit more uh, pepper flakes and and some uh, pepper seeds and that kind of thing. So you're saying it's hot? Yeah, it's a it's a warm pretzel. It's a warm pretzel. It's a lovely it's a lovely treat. So here's what I've decided to do. I thought you know what. Now. There's, there's different things that people are going to try it with. I thought one I would start with my Angry Irishman. Now this you cannot get in the store. You actually have to order this online from Angry Irishman, and it's corrosive mustard. So this it is, is the hottest thing that I try with the pretzel. It is delicious with the corrosive. It is delicious with the corrosive. So we're gonna squirt some of this on the side over here. All right, just a little dab to do you. And then I decided to go with the store-bought kind of mustard. This is what I put on like a lot of my sandwiches and stuff. This is a jalapeno mustard from um, Warburg's. 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 You can get this at like your local Meyer, Walmart, places like that. 
So now we add some of this on the plate. So let's add some of this on here. We may had we may need to come back to this. And then I thought I'd go like really old school, and, and we keep it. You know, we, we let the let the pretzel do all the talking with the heat, and we just brought the regular old Frenches out here too. So there we go. All right. Now, first thing I'm going to tell you, as I was smelling this as I was taking this out of the oven. Now, of course, I ruined the whole oven aspect of this because I took this out of the oven probably about a half an hour ago. So it's back to being, um, you know, just a regular old kind of cool and whatnot. We got 28 people in here. So we got some good exposure here there, uh, Bruce. So Brad says, what? No stadium mustard? No, no stadium, bro. <laughs> All right. So. Mark Zark Aquarium, what's up, brother? Fish on, man. How you doing? All right. So we're going to start the, with the first little bit here. You look at that. You can see he's got some stuff on there. So you make the heat inside. You know what? I should do the first before I put any mustard on it, right? You just try the pretzel straight up. I can tell you right now, the ignition point in there, the spices in there, <clears throat> make me clear my throat. That's got a good little burn. And as I sit here and let that kind of soak in, like a lot of powders and things do, or reapers, you can feel it get a little warmer. You know, you get that initial um, little bit of heat that you get in your mouth. And I can, I can feel it right now getting warmer so that's good that's good i like that it's tasty it's a very tasty uh pretzel there roost and i'm gonna try it with some angry irishman that's one i'm looking forward to i forgot until i saw someone else bring it out they even had any angry irishman here now that, that right there, that is good. You got it, that with the Angry Irishman, you got the combination of those two things. Because I won't put Angry Irishman on a regular sandwich. Angry Irishman, for me, I actually enjoy my sandwich. Um, what's up, Sunshine Cooper? How you doing? Um, I won't put Angry Irishman on my regular daily sandwich. I'll put the jalapeno stuff on there. But what's up, Fishing with Phil? How you doing? Well, that's good. I like that. I think that's what's on what I'm going to prefer here. Of course, as I'm sitting here in front of everybody eating with my mouth or talking with my mouth full, right? How can you do a show like this without talking with your mouth full? I don't know. All right, right. I'm going to drop off here because I got to I got to put one of my kids to bed, but I'm going to still be watching. Okay. All right, Bruce. Thank you, man. Thank you for the friend. You guys enjoy. Enjoy. Good to see you guys. Thank you, Bruce. All right, so now we're doing this regular store-bought jalapeno mustard. Pretty good amount on there. Mm. I wish I could share with you guys, right? I wish I could give you just a little bit of the pretzel. <laughs> oh. No, oh, there it goes. <laughs> Even with the regular Frenches, that's good. But I think definitely now I don't know if Bruce um is is selling them. I know Bruce um through our growth group on Facebook. We don't sell anything to one another on Facebook. Um all I had to do was pay for shipping on this. But I was able to get one uh, from him or get the two that I got from him. Um, but bottom line, we do that on Facebook because we exchange stuff. Some people make stuff. We pay for shipping and we exchange things back and forth. But I don't know, Bruce. Do you, do you sell these at all? Would you be interested in selling these at all? If anybody, I'm uh, not killing you yet. Um, if anybody was interested in buying some, would you be interested in uh, 
making some. I don't know. Ooh. I'll tell you, with that angry Irishman, though, I'm feeling that in my mouth. That's hot. Want a bite, please? No. She's too, she's too dignified to put her head back and open up her mouth. Oh, I do do it sometimes, yeah. <laughs> you have to fire her up first, yeah. yeah. You got to get her going. Yeah. <laughs> you know how to get her going, crazy, and I don't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I was reading the chat. Yes, I agree, Sherry. Play, prayers for Sherry McMillan, everybody. Yeah. Good vibes sending, you know, vibes her way. It's always good. Hey, Kentaman. Ooh, la la. What's up, Kente man? Yeah, Sherry is a genu genuinely wonderful person, man. She is a, she does a lot of stuff. Most of it, you know, costs her money to do. You know, when she did the challenge for the chips, all she asked for people to do the pay for the shipping. She just wanted to, she wanted to see people eat her creation, you know, and uh, it cost her money. So at the end of the day, man, it's hot as hell. Mm. Oh, can you dip pepper in there or whatever? Uh, oh, yeah. mm. okay. Sorry about that. Not big. All right. Well, I'm going to eat the rest of this over time. I want to thank Bruce Smith for um, getting into these meats so quickly. I've had them for three, four, five days, and just no time ever seemed right to get on here and do this thing live, especially right after I did the 21 Reapers. It was like, wow. Thanks again, Bruce Smith. Um, you want to put anything in the uh, chat if you're interested in doing something, Bruce? Um, you know what your cost is. You know if you want if you want to do what you do. I mean, I don't know. However you want to do it, man. It's all up to you. Chelsea Morgan, Sherry, Ricky Blonde. Hey, Dad, coming home. Okay. So what's up, guys? What's up, Ann? Oh, nothing much. Just waiting for you. Yeah. Just waiting for me. <laughs> yeah, I was waiting for you. Yeah. Yeah. I will, tell, I, I will tell you, uh, there's a little bit of a throat burn going on here with this. So it is good. Now, again, part of that is, yeah, no, won't be doing, looking at that. All right. Yep. Um, <laughs> what's up, Kildare Survival? How you doing, man? We will hey. put the link in the chat again if anybody wants to join. It is a cool day. That is a good, good pretzel. Good burn. Nice. So yeah. you will make pretzels now. Huh? So you will make pretzels now. You, you, you can, you I don't make, make anything. I, I, the only thing I ever made was my nuts. Right? <laughs> I killed it. <laughs> I just heard nuts. Yeah. Nuts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all I've ever made is my almonds. Right? You're nuts. Mm. My nuts. I'm nuts. Yeah, you're. No, it's not gonna be a 22 Reaper challenge for a long time. Next year, you don't have any Reapers now. I thought it was next week. No, we're gonna do nope. Reapers. Nope, nope, nope. I couldn't get any Reapers if I wanted them, guys. I'd, I'd have to go frozen Reapers. I was if, you do that, reapers. if you do that, I file for divorce. Yeah, <laughs> I get a YouTube divorce. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, my eyes are watering. Look at this. Oh, look at those. Mm. <laughs> How you yeah. <laughs> You're not JDS flying Canuck. <laughs> I've only got eyes for him. I know that. You and your Canuck. Oh <laughs> Bruce Smith. Oh, yep. Bruce Smith is in the chat. Justin and Dan. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right back, okay? Spicy, you just love putting yourself in pain, don't you, Al? Yeah. Uh, this is, th right now, this isn't pain. This I got some throat burn. I got some mouth burn. This is not pain. Uh, well, if anyone wants to reach out, maybe they can let me know, figure out, contact 
with one another. There you go. I made my nuts, Bill, 2019. <laughs> uh, mouth watering, whatever. Huh. Yeah, I've been, I've been lucky. I've been lucky with the people and things that I can get um, from people. I'm still burning. Hey. That's good. Huh? Why, why, are you keeping, why are you giving the evil eye? Hey, stop looking at me like that. No, I'm looking up. Yeah, right at me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right at me. Wondering what that buzzing is in the back room there. Is, the one yeah, you got, what is, are you, is your room buzzing? Yeah. I really can't hear it. I mean, there's a, like a hum or something going right on. There. In the yeah, I can hear it. Hmm. Oh. Says it's called painful pleasure, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I guess that's the way to put it. Oh, not when you eat the 22 Reapers. That's not, not a painful pleasure. No. Nope. Yeah, I did have um, some uh, peppers on my plants until I picked all my pe peppers off for the Reapers, or for the uh, 21 pepper thingy. Yeah, sounds like a fan. Oh. Now they're all gone. I got some itty bitty ones that have just started um, budding or whatnot, peppering, whatever you want to call them. Fruiting, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I had those packing gold pepper chips. Well, wow, those are hot. Those are hot. I mean, you, you got you got probably some of the hottest reaper powder on those things. Yes, those were hot. Uh, some people try to play it off. I, I played it off a little bit. I mean, you know, my tolerance is up there. But those those chips for you know, ninety five percent of the public are um, hot as hell. Laptop fan, maybe what? No, it's a um, game that's on a program he's watching. Laptop fan? No, the buzzer. Oh, okay. <laughs> Laptop fan. The kids. I, I mean, I, I'm not hearing anything, but of course I'm hard of hearing too. Yeah, I shut the door. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Tone Ranger? Hey, all. Had a nice hey, Tone Ranger. I'm about getting hot sauce business going. Nice. There you go. Now you just gotta have enough peppers to keep it going, right? Mm-hmm. So how so how many peppers did you pick off your pepper plants? Say that fast three times. Say fast three times, fast three times, fast three times. <laughs> hey Steve Smitty. Well, it's up, Steve Smitty. Yeah, that'd be cool, Tone Ranger. If you could get hooked up with the Hopper Blonde, someone who's already got the storefront is, as you know, basically he's got the place and he's covered all of his overhead and everything. And you can get a few bucks. I know it ain't easy. Ask Roger. Roger's tried a couple, two, three different chocolate bars and different things. He's been trying to get into different stores, uh, like Pepper Palace and whatnot. And uh, there's a lot. There's a huge investment to get in there and get started. It could cost probably cost you more money than you can make at the beginning. But in the long run, if you can keep that going, that would be awesome. Melly the moderator saying hi to Carolyn Kennard. I'm in R and D mode now. Running to use mashes for now. Oh, okay, cool. Harmon Heat. Bruce Smith, I'd like to try him. Can you screenshot my email? Harmon Heat19 gmail.com. There you go. I, I, I see a new Harmon Heat video coming. I can see two pretzels, him and uh, Dave, and I can see an entire bottle of Angry Irishman. And half the bottle on one pretzel and half the bottle on the other pretzel. Because that's how they do things. If you guys haven't watched Harmony, they do hot sauce or do whatever they do. It half goes on Spicy D's food. And the other half goes on Justin's food. And they both just, you know, they burn together. And they burn hard. Hey, Julie. No, 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 I said that. No, so that's, what, what? What did I miss? <laughs> And that you didn't say. That was a waza? So was a waza? Who's a waza? I'm going back up to see what I missed. What I missed. Yeah, you did. <laughs> oh, okay. That's what he was talking about. See, yeah. you, you, you see how quickly I forget stuff? Oh, yeah. In one ear, out the other. What's up, Julie T? How you doing? So, what? hey, guys, do me a favor. Isn't that crazy, Ando? What a great job. <laughs> he did on this. Look at this. That's Isn't that cool. I like it. You know, I've got a great friend down at the bottom that makes a great song for the channel. 
I've got a great friend that can make stuff on the computer, you know, to, to merchandise stuff for you guys. So if you want to wear something, you know, I, 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 I consider myself to be a pretty lucky guy. I don't know many channels my size that has got so many different people helping them to make something successful is what I've got here with these people that the people just right here with me and the other people out there, you guys have been help me, man. It's just awesome. I mean, Hey, I've got a, I got a thumbnail today, but you know what? I've also got a great, that's what I should have been. This is what I should have been cutting my, uh, my bagel on my uh, pretzels on. Right. Yeah. You know, I got so many, I got so many great people. I got, I got Gemma's journey grace, right? You say what Gemma, Gemma journey grace. I mean, I got a spicy poem. I got a spicy poem. Look at this. I see so. I got a spicy yeah. poem. Who's got, who else has got a spicy poem? No one else has got. I got a spicy poem. Made by my incredible friend Gemma. I mean, come on, this is awesome. I really. Feel hey, come here to me. That's why I try to keep this all drama free. I try to keep this all great for you guys. Crazy Ann is freaking awesome. You are right. She doesn't, and she doesn't always accept a compliment too well. <laughs> yes, Crazy Ann is freaking awesome. Those exact words too. Freaking awesome. What's up, computer chick? How you doing? Hey, pussy cat. Carolyn Kennard, you are awesome. <laughs> She's watching you. Oh, Premier Hell's here. What's up, Premier Hell? Premier Hell. Oh, yeah, fuck it. Oh, the cat. <laughs> <laughs> What's well, up, Cruise Food Reviews? How you doing, man? Good to see you. I was like, what? Did I miss Premier Hell? I was looking there. And there. Yeah. Hey, Drew. If, if I hadn't if I hadn't said it, I'd have been looking for Premier Hell. Uh, I was looking like, did I miss somebody? <laughs> if Premier Hell was on my lap, I'd have some explaining to do to the spouse. So oh, probably, <laughs> yes. Hello. Yeah, probably. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Premier Hell's hat and his bow tie came on. Yeah. What's up, Lewis Fuller? How you doing, man? But I like better to have the man on, on my lap and I sitting on the man lap. Yeah. <laughs> Not because I'm heavy. So, yeah. I don't want to crush them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I don't crush anybody. I've been always like that. Yeah. You, you don't go and sit on someone's lap and beat yourself on someone's lap. You, even if you and vice versa, all you got to do it. You're not gonna, you know, no one ever, well, maybe they do. I don't know. Maybe when we were younger, we were all like, you know, 155 pounds. It wasn't a big deal. But as we get older and we got some, uh, some, some experienced weight on us, yeah, then maybe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, meow. Yeah, meow. All right. Now, now I'm thinking Chinese food. I got the, the pretzel <laughs> eat. Now I'm thinking Chinese food. Why am I thinking Chinese food? Uh, totally. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you needed the permission to get that. Okay. <laughs> you always, you always got to make sure you get permission there, Tone Ranger. <laughs> I Julie don't get permission. Hair. What? Oh, yeah. Julie T likes your hair. Thank you. <laughs> every time you see, almost every time you see Anne, she's doing something on love. There's usually no two, unless she puts the pigtails in. If she puts the pigtails in, you'll see those for a couple, two, three days. You know? Yeah, I take them out before I put them in again. Yeah, yeah. Do you do that? Do you do that yourself? I guess you would do that yourself, right? Who else gonna do that? I don't. But probably. No, don't, don't, don't go there. Don't go. No, no. No, no, no. Don't go there. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I, I could. I, I couldn't see you if I had a long hair. How the heck I would start way up here? Yeah, and, you just take and, the and, half there, and half there, and braid it too. Yeah. But it always looks proportional like it should, as opposed to one starting here and one starting down here or something, you know? Because <laughs> if I was trying to do it, it'd be like, you know, one would be higher than the other, and it'd be, you know, kind of lopsided, a little too much mm -hmm. to the front, a little too much to the rear. Yeah. Hey, Eli. I'm doing. What's up, Eli family? How you doing, man? Yeah. That's weird. Okay. That's weird. <laughs> I keep sharing it out, guys. Let's get some more people in there and smash the thumbs up. 
Yeah. Be right so, back. Okay, Carla. So any new material, uh, Sam, you'd like to talk about? Uh, I just wrote a song today for another channel. Uh, I've got 12 more to go. Yeah. It looks like they didn't get any smaller. But it doesn't look any happy, no. <laughs> It keeps getting bigger. <laughs> you know, oh, two out, and it's still the same number. Yeah. <laughs> well, I added two yesterday because uh, in the in the chat of the live, I I went back and rewatched so I could catch up with comments in the stream, and there were two requests in there. I was like, dang it. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw one. Yeah, I don't I know. know the second one. Don't, don't go back. <laughs> I told her yesterday, so that's why she gets back. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Eli family. I shouldn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Next time I'll keep my mouth shut. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the problem with lies, man. If you, 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 you go back and look at all of this stuff, it's like I actually got, I've gone back and I started laughing at some of the stuff that I miss. Hey, you know, Armin. I'm you know, I'm talking to you guys like and what you're saying, and I'm going back to there. I don't always catch everything that's going on in the chat. But some of these people in the chat are pretty damn funny. Yes, <laughs> very. <laughs> Have a good night, Justin Harmon. Guys, if you haven't checked out Harmon Heat, check out Harmon Heat, Justin Harmon, and Extra Spicy D. Take it easy, man. They usually put out something new on Saturday nights that usually ends up popping up on Sunday morning. So, great channel. I'm happy I'm on one of them. Who the was it? Who the was that? Who the was that? Who the was that? Vlogs. Yeah, you're on there. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm hoping I'm one of them. <sighs> and the funny part is that she has to go to your channel. She yeah. has to watch some stuff about you because the songs are about you. Right? Hey, Bryce. So I, you can see that she's actually doing more than just putting some words to paper. She's trying to figure out who the person is, who the channel is, what they do, so that everything makes sense. Because, you know, if you made an everything spicy um, thing about, you know, maniac variety, it just wouldn't fit because he's not spicy at all. <laughs> no. He's I'm, very I'm, bland. I'm, 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 yeah. Hey, Bryce. How you doing, Bryce from New Zealand? Where, where's the, where's, where's your lady? Who's was that? His lady, the lady friend. Oh, that's his it. lady. On the deck, on the deck. On, on the, the deck. deck. Probably out on the deck. Take some advice from Tone Ranger. Prep your tummy. Good to stay out of danger. Absolutely. Uh, excuse me. I beg your pardon. I never promised you a rose garden. I don't want to respond to that now. <laughs> I almost said something. And, nom, nom, nom. I'm not a big fan of mustard, you know. No, I didn't know. I, I, I know. I can put it in, in sauce and things like that. Yeah. It's like it's good to put in potato uh -huh. salad and stuff, but... I don't. I can't eat potato salad. What? That's, what? I don't macaroni. like potato salad. No macaroni salad. What's wrong with you guys? It's good stuff. I, I like like pasta salad, but not potato salad. Not macaroni salad. Ugh. If it maybe the Japanese version of of uh, macaroni salad, maybe I haven't tried that yet. I don't know one mighty R. What's it what, what do you think about that? He's asked me if I've ever seen the show The Hot Ones. Yes. I've, I've, seen, the, I've seen a lot. He put the whole no. long chicken in. And, and, and people have tried to get people like the LA Beast on there. And people have tried to get people like Johnny Scoville on there. They don't want someone on there with a very high heat tolerance. They want the average um, celebrity, not average celebrity, but superstar celebrity, or this, or this singer, or this actor, or this, you know, whatever. They want someone on there that's going to be animated because at the end of the day, their mouth is burning, so. Maybe you should put up the links. Maybe it's more people will go, I don't know. Let's put the link up. There we go. It's up Maybe. again. <laughs> I don't know. People I'm want to go. it out again. Yeah.
They want someone to. Hey, Thomas, you didn't listen to TNT like I, I shared your video. It's hot. It's hot? But, but, but I tell you what, but, it's, but, it's, but at the end of the day, it's a good mm. burn in the mouth. Mm. <sighs> All right. They want someone plugging a new movie slash album. They do. You know, and then of course, you know, it's just people that people are interested in, right? If someone got up there and they, you know, no in a general public I mean who, I didn't know Johnny Scoble when I got started on this. Who I mean no one else, no one else in the world knows Johnny Scoble except for I don't even think one percent. You know? So it's one of those things where, you know, yes, with us chili heads all go not if Johnny Scoble was on there and everything else. Yes, we would. But at the end of the day, the general world, the general population has no clue who Johnny School is. So, Ronnie, same thing with the UK Chili Queen or Chili Sid or any of those other people, you know. They have they have the big people. Now, you're going to have a percentage of people who know who L.A. Beast is. But still, if you're not a YouTube person, you don't know who L.A. Beast is either. I didn't know until I got involved in doing what I'm doing. I really didn't know who L.A. Beast was. When L.A. Beast, I found out he did the mob in like two minutes and 13 seconds or whatever he did the mob in. I didn't know who clue L.A. Beast was. I watched a few of his videos and I had no clue that he was quite as big as he was. So I had, so or could have realized I wasn't going to uh, beat that. Oh, and he did that yeah. in like two minutes and 13 seconds or something like that. Dustin did it, the, the same bar, in like Two minutes and fifty, or two minutes and forty seconds, or something. He wasn't far off. As a matter of fact, I think he's probably like on third place now on eating that thing so fast. So he's like he was, he's not a competitive eater or a speed eater. Bullshit. That that thing is chewy as hell. Yeah. My I want to hear twice on about Ron, it's crazy about Ronnie. Yeah, he's a guitarist that's playing in Norway. It's pretty big. Yeah. He's oh really? Him. Yeah, he he, he lived just yeah, not far from me. So my step, my fir firm steps on yeah, he's a body of him. So yeah. Yeah, Steve Smitty, I ate drink, ate most of this on fifteen wings um, two weeks ago. I mean, I got a scotch down here left in the bottle, but I put did fifteen wings. What else did we put on? We on the cookies. Cookie. We had on a cookie. Um, what else was it? Some we, had, we had on some other gross yeah. stuff. Fish. On some fish. Oh, on it? the fish. Yeah. On the mackerel. Yeah, we mackerel. put some on yeah. yeah, that was gross. Yeah, but... Jay's going to do the dishes, so I'm going to hop down in the chat. Okay. It's going to get loud. All right. Love you guys. Love you <laughs> hey, smile, Sam. <laughs> well, again, one might yeah, that's just it. They don't want to see someone come in there and uh, and crush it, you know? We Thank you, really for I think any one of us chili heads could go on there and not have a problem. Um, matter of fact, if you watch Sean Evans, the host of it, you know he's done a Carolina Reaper or two, but that's all he does. He he can't get on there and do two or three. I, I can't imagine he can get on there and do two or three peppers. I mean, I'll be honest with you, this was hot, but the right hand of doom, all these other sauces with extracts, this has got no extract in it. So at the end of the day, this is made with pepper X. But it was nowhere near as hot as I thought it was going to be. It was hot. I won't joke you or kid you. But it, but it wasn't as hot as I thought it was going to be. So, one mighty R true. Wait the bomb saying I killed there. Ooh. Papa, say that's pretty cool. You live about thirty minutes away from a musician. Oh yeah, you got a lot of uh, musicians up here. A lot of famous ones, so. Chris Crafts, what's up? Hey, I'm back, guys. And we had people take down two trees and ground it up with stumps. And one of the tree stumps had a cable wire around it, and they cut it into, and they cut it into, and we got it replaced today. Oh, okay. So you lost your cable. That sucks. Yeah, that's no fun. Yeah, really? Mm, no. Talk about really being bored. 
We didn't have I the can, internet. I, I can, yeah, no, no, no. Oh, oh, I will, I will go crazy. Oh. Good, my buddy Turkey Leg. What's up, Turkey Leg? Now, how's it going, Phil? Hey, crazy. Hey, good, hey, man. Hey. How you doing? Good, good. <laughs> Just got out of the shop here with my dog. Oh, he's got the button oh. here. Look at that little big ear thing. Oh. I look at his eyes. Him. Let's see if we can see his eyes. Hey, we're looking at him. Hey. Oh, oh he's got. Wow. The, okay, he's got the two different color eyes. Yeah. He's been difficult. Yeah. Cool. It's he's a Max Scherzer of puppies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm. I can't help but every time I see you there, Turkey Leg, I think of my <laughs> son's best friend. God, you two are freaking twins. Do we? Is it the beard? Or is it like it, 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 the whole face? It, it is the beard, but it is the whole face. It's the nose. It's the eyes. Again, not a current picture of him because he's his hair is a little longer and scragglier right now, and not well kept. But my daughter Megan, my daughter Megan said, "You look like you two were separated from Bert at birth." So maybe, maybe he's my long lost brother. There you go. I don't know, man. I'm always so confused on which way the camera's supposed to go. Right, it's exactly the opposite most of the time. Yeah, I'm like, oh, boop. yep. Until it's not. It's funny. <laughs> I had to edit my um my Popeye's chicken sandwich video down because I had my phone turned sideways, and every time I bring something up to the camera, I go to you know bring it. Yeah, you'd be like, I was taking it off camera. I kept taking shit off camera and then going <laughs> back. So then I had to take that whole thing. My Popeye's chicken sandwich. And keep editing in it. <laughs> Where it was like swooshing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How was it, by the way? I've huh? yet to get. I've, I said, "How was it?" I have yet to get myself a Popeyes. The lines are like forty-five minutes long. They're going they are, down the road. They're a very juicy sandwich. Luckily, I was in a place just outside of Flint, Michigan, where I waited probably 15, 20 minutes yeah. uh, in line inside. But they were lined up outside uh, in the drive-through. Uh, everybody could make it inside uh, the place, but yeah, it wasn't hot. You know, it was very yeah. cute. You know, they were making the sandwiches. Obviously, you could see the people in the back. They had so many people in the back. <laughs> it seemed like the only thing they were making was chicken sandwich. They just stopped making chicken. Probably just making chicken sandwiches. So, because was there a was there a limit you could buy? I wonder if there's a limit. No, I you no. know what? I ordered I ordered two, and they put three in my bag. Jesus, generous. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't know. They did that on purpose, but it wasn't until I got outside and I looked down at my bag. It's like I'm not gonna take it back. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Yeah, <laughs> right. I'm not gonna say no. That's right. So I had one when I did the video. I took the other two home. I gave one to my boy, and then I ate the other one later. I was like, mm, that's good. Mm. So what's up, Osarobo? Os Osarobo, success. How are you doing? <clears throat> Carolyn saying hi to Eli. So what? Oh look. So do you have a? Do uh, you have another video in the can there, Turkey Leg, that you're just getting ready to edit down and put out there for everyone to see? Oh, not yet. But I did just make this knife today. Oh, where uh -oh, are you? Let me get you on here. Let me try to see this. <coughs> and that's all metal. I, that's all metal. I did a little unique handle right there. Very cool. Yeah, so I'm going to – it turned out really well, and I think I'm going to try to make it again. So that's going to be my next video is me making a spiral handle thing and hopefully not burn myself again. Well, yeah, don't burn yourself. Hold on a second. Sorry. Yeah, oh, look at this thing. Where is it? Well, there it is. Right there. Ah. That's one of those accidental burns instead of the on-purpose burns. Oh yeah, I burned it on the tongs. I was making the twist in the in the handle, and as I was twisting it, my tongs were laying right there, and my arm hit it. I was like, S -s 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 "God damn it!" And I grabbed the tongs and chucked them across my yard. <laughs> oh, that's what I would do. It hurt so much. I was like, "Oh." What's up, Jay? How you doing? No, my actually, my buddy. Uh, I don't make anything like that. My buddy Brad Maglock made this one for me. Oh, so, is that Damascus? I don't know. Is it like, huh? no. is it like different metals on it? Or is oh, it yeah, he, he put some kind of chemical something on the blade to make it look the color that it does. But he did the whole wood handle. Of course, you can see the nice little um, 
you know, things he put through. He yeah, the pins. The he's, got pins. Cord, he's got a cord on it. He's got a 22 bullet shell or a 45 bullet shell on the end of it. So yeah, pretty cool. And of course, he made the um, he made the sheath for it too. Oh yeah, I don't do leather work. That's that's some talent right there. Oh, he's so he's pretty creative. He's pretty uh, he's got a talent. So. I made a video of this one, but this is a knife that's similar with the brass pins in it. It's zebra wood and Bolivian. The top is Bolivian rosewood, and the bottom is zebra wood. That looks very nice. Cool. Really nice. Yeah. Uh, Where do you guys find all the extra time? I mean, my extra time is done doing this. Where do you guys find all the extra time doing this crap? Uh, I get up like in the morning, really early in the morning, because I have like a couple hours. And I'll turn my forge on, and I'll start blacksmithing or woodworking, and then I'll go to work, <laughs> and then come home, do a little bit, do a little more. And so, you just got to yeah, buy the time. If you love yeah, it enough, sure. I can stay up late, but I will, I will sleep in the morning until the last possible minute that I can sleep. Get up, shower, throw my crap on, and you know, rush off to work. So yeah, I, I still get up a couple hours before work. Well, I, I, when I when I've lost weight in the past, I have I get up before work. But yeah, I still got that military mentality of getting up early. I guess. Yeah, yeah. And, but again, I, I I can discipline myself. I couldn't do this and get yeah. up early and exercise. So were, were you in the Marine Corps? Yeah. Okay. I have to. I'm, I try to remember everybody that was in the Marine Corps. Everyone that was in the Army, and I'm I'm bad at it. The only one I remember on a regular basis is Roman and then um, Sean Satterfield, but he's from Facebook. He comes on here every now and then. But Yeah, so, I, did five, uh, I was saying I did five years in the Marine Corps. I was an MP. Okay. Yeah. Where were you stationed? Camp Pendleton. Oh, okay. That's where I did my out processing when, uh, during Desert Storm in September of 1990. That's where they, you know, because they considered Hawaii to be an overseas duty station. So, when yeah. I got out, they sent me to Pendleton. Of course, Pendleton was a ghost town because everybody was off to a desert storm. What year was that? 1990. 90. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that was way before me. I started in 2013. I was there. And what side, what type, what part of base were you on? Uh, dude, I was there 10 days. I couldn't tell you squat. Especially, you know, 30 years ago now, too, you know? True. What's up, Dan? How are you doing? Hey, sir, I'm wrong. Carolyn, how's your day going, Crazy Ann? What? I said, how's your day going? Oh, it's going. <laughs> always going? It's always. It's going slow, but it's going. So, yeah, oh, I'm just uh, waiting to get some field time, so I can have a little there fun. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> get some field time. Yeah. So, it's all the crazy. Yeah, Car Carolyn is, just so you see in the, ch in the on the screen there, turkey mm -hmm. leg. Yeah. Thank you for your I, I know because I didn't actually serve in a war or during wartime. Oh. I think it's kind of weird. Thank you, Carolyn. Thank you for your service, but I'm getting yeah. kind of used to it, I guess. I don't bring it up a ton, but. Yeah. Hey, Mark, people say thank, thank you for your service. I'm just like, you don't, don't, you don't need to thank me. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I usually find myself thanking like the older vets, you know, like the, yeah. older vets, the Korean War vets, because. These are the guys that actually came back from war and were spit on and weren't respected for doing what they did for our country all those years ago. So. Yeah, 2014, no, 2015, I did funeral details. So, you know, where you do the 21 gun salute or you do like the flag folding and the presenting of the flag. I did that for a year. And I'm telling you, some of them were like he had great funerals where there was tons of people. And I did some of them where there was not a single person. Oh, that's sad. At the funeral, so then you know we would do something for him. But, What's up, Creator Spotlight Show? Mike McConkey, Dustin Dyson. What's happening, guys? How you doing? Good to see you. We are going to put the link in here one more time. If anybody wants to join, uh, we're gonna we're gonna open it up. So, but no, you know it's funny. When I got out, I was ready to be out of the Marine Corps. When I got in, I thought I was gonna make a career of it, like my old man did. My old man retired. Yeah. But as soon as I got to Okinawa, all those Lance Corporals were like, how many days in a wake-up until they were out? And I yeah. think that kind of brainwashed me to the point where that uh, I, suddenly that's what you're almost like thinking like, you know, you're, you're a prisoner or whatever. You're looking, thinking about how many days in a wake-up until you got out. So 
even though I could have stayed in and I was close to staying in, they wouldn't let me uh, re-enlist in artillery or stay in an artillery because they done like a corporal bonus for corporals. And they had too yeah. many corporals now in artillery. So they, were, they wanted me to be like an NBC NCO. They kept offering me all these stupid jobs. And I was like, no, maybe this, between that and Desert Storm starting, I was like, <laughs> maybe this is a sign that I'm not supposed to stay in and retire, you know? Did you get out as a corporal? Yeah. Yeah, so did I. Yeah, I got, um, a, I got corporal just like a couple months, so I didn't have to go to NCO training or any of that stuff. So oh, I did. It was, you, when you realize when you get the same rank, all of the same rank in one room, you realize how stupid everyone is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh, so I was like, I, I, I was put in charge immediately the first day. And I was like, because I'm the jokester. And so everyone's like, oh, we like this guy. Put him in charge. And trying to get the same. Everyone's supposed to be in charge of everyone because they're a higher rank. You're an NCO. But once you get a bunch of NCOs together, it's like everyone's just stupid. Nobody's and in like, charge. Of, nobody's yeah, in charge. Yeah, they get the, Yeah, they're like, I don't want to be in charge. I don't want to be in charge. And I'm like, okay, everyone, shut the hell up. Be here five thirty in the morning, and then we're going for a run. I people at six six thirty. Like, oh, sorry, my car was broken. It must be hard oh, being in the military, God. you know, like um, a lot of stuff. You, you like your freedom, got to give up. Nothing, your freedom, but like, yeah. The things well, you, you have like to babysit to a lot of people after. When you get higher up, then you're basically you're just a babysitter to a bunch of people. Yes, my brother said he's he he was a uh, he was he served in um in uh, Somalia back yeah. in two thousand five or six. Don't quote me wrong. I think but way back mm-hmm. then. Um, so he told me the same thing too. I um, mean, it was pretty hard. On yeah, him especially too. especially be hard being like a higher position. And in a time of war, you know the stress on people. Exactly, just, and he's you know terrible, terrible. He lost he lost a lot of good friends out there too. So yes, even that I've uh, I've lost people here, stateside, and that's always it's Hello. terrible. Hi so guys, sorry. somebody out there in combat. There was a big epidemic. They were telling me of uh, guys when they would come back from Desert Storm. You know, they had all this money and whatnot saved up. They were getting motorcycles and things, and guys were suddenly feeling. Like they were indestructible, and you know, guys were getting in motorcycle accidents and dying and doing all sorts of stuff that you know, because of they had gone, they had this, you know, I don't know, they had this. It, I mean, we had that at some point, even though I was never in um, in wartime. You almost had that yeah. sense that you were indestructible. You would try and do things that you know a normal sane person wouldn't try or do. You know, well, you know, because you get that mindset. You're a marine. You're a you know, you're a bad motherfucker. You do, and you have some people. It gets it gets to their mind, and they try to go out in town, and they they pick fights with people just to find out they're like they're if they're strong or if they're manly. I have people in my unit, you know, get drunk and go out in town just to fight somebody to show their worth. And I think you know it gets to people's heads. Yeah, being drunk's a bad time to start a fight. Oh yeah. <laughs> How you doing, you know, man? How you doing? We were born in a bar. <laughs> That's right. Finally. Yeah, I want it's funny because I wanted to go to uh, Philadelphia this year for the Marine Corps birthday. And the uh, big thing that turned me off from going this year was that I quit drinking back on April 1st. And, uh, you know, again, if I were going to go, obviously I'd want to go and drink. And I didn't want to go. I didn't want to start drinking again because I felt like if I started drinking at something like that for a few days, then that might just keep it going. So I was like, you know what? As much as I did go see my brothers and everything and hang out with a bunch of stupid jarheads that we are. Yeah, I didn't need that in my life. So, yeah, I quit drinking because when I was in, it was like every night just just pounding beers or pounding alcohol because everybody's drinking. You're on the catwalk and you're drinking. Yeah. Now, see, in Hawaii, I didn't do a lot of drinking. Most of my drinking in Hawaii was usually on the weekends. It usually wasn't during the week, but on the weekends, man, yeah, we would definitely tie one on. Yeah. yeah. Have you, you had your your morning shower beer after you gone running. That's you know, after that's your eight mile, you know five what? mile. I know, you know, I never did that because I hated, I hated being behind that person. I hated being the person that ever fell out of a formation run. You know, you always saw the oh, guys that would. I've uh, done it. You no, know. I, 
before my, you know, did y'all have PFTs? PFTs? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if it was something different. Yeah. But I remember one day before my PFT, I got blackout drunk on tequila, and I'm there, wow. and my my colonel is sitting right next to me, and I was like, and threw up into the bushes, and he was like, smells like tequila. He's like, good luck on the run, and just took off running. And I was slow. I was like on a crawl on that run. And they got no the miles for you. Yeah, nope. They don't care at all. Mm. They just. Yep, yep. Again, I was never, I, I, I don't think I ever was out that late or when I had a problem with it. Because again, I think you only do it once. I, you know, I got in trouble when I first got to Okinawa and I had had too much to drink one night and I got in trouble. And, um, at that point, after that, I was like, "All right, I'm going to make sure that you know, at some point on Sunday, I quit, and I have no problem, uh, you know, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you know, doing our uh, doing our runs and stuff." So, yeah. Were you on uh, what base were you on, Hanson or? Uh, we were in artillery. So all your artillery was on Foster and Swab. Or Foster, Foster and Swab. No, Butler, Foster and Butler. Now we would go out to okay. Swab to do our training. But our home base was on Butler Foster, so. I always wanted to go to Okinawa. Oh, yeah? Because, yeah, it was California. Yeah, you don't you say that, but then you're like, oh, I was in California my whole time. Right. You're like, oh, oh. I wish I was and everybody, and everybody Japan first and then did California. And everybody would be like, oh, California, that'd be cool to be hanging out in California. You know, for me, it's like you got an entire state. You got places you can go. My entire time I was in the Marine Corps, I was either – on Okinawa, which was an island, which you can only go so far, or I was on Hawaii, which is an island, and you can only go so far. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you. Were I was of, like, but nobody's gonna. I was like, I was on California or Missouri. Wow. Fort Lost in the woods. <laughs> I haven't had a drink in a few years now. Just not interested anymore. Too busy to drink. Yeah. That's kind of me now. You know. I do this, you know, I go to work, I do this. I if I were if I were sitting here having beers and hanging out with you guys and whatnot, and then going to bed and trying to get, you know, five three, four, five hours of sleep like I do, I'd never make it to work. You know? Oh yeah. I gotta get my eight hours. Oh. Good night, Caroline. Oh shoot. I can't tell you the last one. Well, maybe on a maybe on a um on a Friday morning. No, not even on a Friday morning, because I usually stay up later on Thursday nights, maybe on a Sunday. Maybe if I'm lucky. So, but that this is all kind of screwed this up going going on late at night when I come home from work. Cause this is the only time oh, yeah. I got to come on is to start right around ten o'clock, and then usually I wind up being on here for at least two hours, and then my alarm goes off at six forty-five in the morning. So, yeah, usually at like ten o'clock, I'm just like, <sighs> I get like falling asleep. Oh. Uh. So what's up, everybody in the chat? And how? Are you, oh, hey, how you doing, Eli family? My yeah, I'm good. I'm just hanging in there to cope. <laughs> um, yeah, I have my camera off. Sorry, <laughs> I know I'm going. <laughs> yeah. You know, how are you doing? I, something I always wanted to do when I got out of the Marine Corps was by myself is just go get get a pup tent, get a pack, and just go camping somewhere where you could hike all day, set up camp overnight sleep in something yeah. and get up and camp the next morning you know and, and hike and hike again it's always one of those things i kind of wanted to do now that i'm older and fatter you know it's just one thing i don't think i'll ever do you know i never went camping fluffier. before you're fluffier fluffier no i'm fat no i i know i know what i am i know uh, i know i need to uh change my yeah eating eating this kind of oh, stuff how do i do it for this if, you know when I first started doing this, I wouldn't eat it hardly at all during the daytime because I, this stuff wasn't really affecting my overall diet. But I got to pick up the pretzel and have another bite. <laughs> I just need to start. I just need to start eating healthier. What's same, up, Purple Gang? Same here. Yeah, Purple Gang. I, I had McDonald's. Oh yeah, McDonald's. Oh man, I'm jealous. No. Big what Mac. Big Mac. Big Mac. Large fry, sweet tea. <laughs> hey, 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 you, you got the supersized. That's right. 
I got, I'll, you know what I get? Super I get sizing. double quarter, a uh, spicy chicken sandwich, and a big size and a big drink. Now, see me, I'm the uh, McChicken with Big Mac sauce. That's good. Oh, really? Yeah. That sounds good. Hmm. Yes. Now, see me, I'm cheap when I go to McDonald's. Nine times out of ten, I'll just grab a McDouble and a small fry. Cheap. See, that's Ooh. what I normally do too. Um, everything spicy. That'd be smart. I get two two spicy two spicy chicken sandwich for ninety nine cents, and and the cheap fry and the cheap drink. That's four dollars right there. Yeah. Hey, I I'm mean, ch- when when you have kids, you gotta go cheap. Yeah. But lately, I've been doing a lot, lot less than McDonald's and any kind of fast food, unless I'm doing something for like a review or something like that. So. Yeah. Well, I don't eat. I don't. I eat out maybe like once, maybe twice a month. I don't eat out a lot. Well, that's good. Yeah, now see, I eat out too much with work. So with work, if I'm, I used to take my lunches and used to make like chicken and broccoli and stuff. I don't do that. I find myself one day I'll have a salad at this place, but the next day I'll have Thai food, and the next day I'll have Chinese food, and the next day I'll have wings. So yeah, I'm not, I, I don't have a good diet right now. <laughs> I don't have a good diet right now. So. I love my McDonald's, man. I would eat it every day. That would be my diet. Well, here, here's my biggest problem is I know before I eat this stuff that I'm going to be, t- because of my weight, that I'm going to be tired afterwards. And I do it anyways. And it's stupid. So, but. But it's so is, good. It's so good. I can't resist. <laughs> Sorry for interrupting you. You're all right, man. <laughs> it happens when you're on a panel, man. Especially when you can't see the other person. Oh, come on. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, but get out of there. You can't resist. I mean, I mean the food. I don't know. All I'm saying is fast food and the rules. Well, they make it yummy and they make it cheap. And it's almost, hey, ACTV. what's up, Aster TV? It's almost it's it's again it's almost you know, than, than eating your own at your own house. But I've gotten to the point yeah. now where when I was stopping sometimes on the way home, I don't stop on the way home now. I'll come home and I'll make a sandwich and whatnot and eat that instead of getting a big double and a small fry. So I had some Big Mac sauce on my shirt and he got it all for me. There you go. Are you saving <laughs> it for later? <laughs> That's right. That's Just how I lure kidding. my dogs to me. Just get a little right there for them. I see Crazy Ann going to Burger King every now and then up there in Norway. I've been there three times this year. Three times this year. I want to go to Burger King. Oh, well, it's not even tacos. close for her. That's the problem. Is it's not even close for her. Do they have anything oh, different there than they do here? I wonder that. It's boring over here. Very boring. But they do have some creative stuff on the menu that they don't have here, right, Anne? Do they? Do they have? Do they have? Do they have beer in Norway in the um in the Burger King? If they have what? Beer. Beer. No. Because I know when I went to Okinawa. Do you all have Taco Bell? No Taco Bell? McDonald's? Okay. Maybe, maybe in the big city, but not here. Yeah. McDonald's. When I went to McDonald's in Japan, they had Sapporo Japanese beer in the McDonald's yeah. in Japan. No, 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 no. Norway strict. You you can't buy beer after six, sir. No? Six or eight. Six, eight, six, uh, six or eight o'clock. Yeah. Okay. So you better make sure you got plenty of uh, liquor before you go to bed. I mean, you know, you know me. I'm sitting here drinking all day. Yeah. You're sitting there drinking all day, but not liquor. <laughs> yeah, go to sleep quicker. Oh, I'm not a drinker. Yeah, no, I wasn't much of a drinker. I mean, again, I drank beer. Beer was kind of my thing. Rarely would I ever um, get any liquor, and it would usually, if it was, I was because I was around other people that might have Fireball or take a shot at the key. Yeah. Or something like that. It was never one of those ones where I was drinking liquor that night or anything like that. So our cracker barrel has gone down. I, I drink a lot when I was like 15 to till I was 18. I was drunk Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah. You mean, obviously, you guys yeah. you drink it. Is there a drinking age in Norway? Yep. <laughs> I never woke Four. <laughs> He's 18. But yeah, I was always yeah, like 18. 18, yeah. Yeah. Sure. 18, well, with over, bears, 18 with bears and 21 with uh, liquor. Is it over? 
Yeah, if you drink, yeah, or with wine is twenty one. Yeah, dude, I, yeah, was, I drank I was the Kila in an Oklahoma that had two three beer. Yeah, yeah, they had two. Three you know, in Missouri, you can drive and drink, or your passenger can drink in the vehicle while you're driving. Oh, here is like zero point two or something. You, yeah, you can Crazy. drink here and drive. No What's time. up, Smokey? How you doing, man? They know how to party. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, Norway, stupid. How's it going, Acer TV? Hey, Smokey. He Smokey is going. Hello Phil. to me. Oh. Huh? Evie Bubbles, how's this going? Smokey oh, is you. buying a, yeah, or how about the uh, and the uh, top gummy bear? So he, he's gonna say that. Smokey. Me on the cuteness. Huh? Smokey in the chat. What the yeah. hell? Yeah, he 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 has bought tall Satan and uh, that little gummy bear that Stivos. Yeah, Stivos. Oh, really? Yeah. Sorry, Smokey. I just had to say it. <laughs> well, what you're saying is Smokey is cool, and I should probably be a moderator here. Yeah, he's cool. He was okay. saying that on um, Snobby's channel. I think okay, very good. Faith in the Fallen eating tacos. Well, I'd like to have a taco right now. I'm so rude. So, yeah. Yeah, hey, you're in the right place now, smoking with the pepperheads. Yeah. I'm not the pepperhead, but this shame. Okay, here I am. <laughs> oh, you there you are. Smokey. You know, if you the way I look at it, Smokey, is if you got a channel, you're not typically you can go on someone else's channel and screw up. And I'd rather have a room full of blue. So if one of these dummies, hey, what's up, Eli? If one of these very dummies come in here and I uh, want to screw around like a troll, um, I got plenty of blue people just to, to take them out. So. Oh yeah. See, I, I don't need I don't need to be a mod. I'm I'm a I'm a mod at heart. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> now you can see that eye. Mod be nice. Yeah, pretty cool. You say only if I be nice. <laughs> I'm always <laughs> nice. <laughs> It's so cute. It's a cute dog. That's cool to play. Yeah. That is cool. All he wants to do is play. That's my poor dog. I, you don't get played with enough. I, I come home with him, and um, he, he loves to play with a rope, man. Give him give that dog a rope and play tug of war with him, and you'll have a friend for life. Yeah, then you have to do that. Then you get yeah, next. Run around the house with a rope. After you, and you, you, you before and knee after, yeah, you can run. Hey, he just likes to pull it apart. Just oh, that's why I play with it. Over. Just our dog tears everything apart. apart. Yeah, you, you got the exercise. Yeah, you oh, how old is he or she? Is it he? Right. Oh, it's a he. He's uh almost two years old. Oh, that's pretty cool. He's in his terrible twos. Can you see oh, his boy. eyes? Can you see? Where's his eyes? <laughs> oh, he has one, one blue one. <laughs> you know what scares me about a dog whenever they fight with another dog, and it scares it scares me just the way they look at each other. Like it's just terrible. Oh yeah, I don't like that <laughs> feeling. Like of just looking at him, like yeah. It's... Yeah, you know, yeah, like what did he say? I'll be right back. I gotta pee. Oh, yeah, I have another Sorry, one. Uh, other guy's lazy. Oh, you got two. Oh, nice. What brand oh, is he it? looks sad. Look at him. Oh, oh he's. Oh, what, what race he's... is it? <laughs> oh, yeah, nice <laughs> late right there. Oh, right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. He acts That's so it. old, and he's only three. He acts like he's like <laughs> 15. <laughs> so he like oh, walks wow. all slow. He's like, oh. But oh, the chain is not copy the owner, so you don't. Yeah, you don't know. And he just got it. He just got an old soul. Yeah, Aww. he looks like it. Maybe have that. 
Doogie, doogie. He's loyal and obedient. That's all that matters. Yeah, I got two. Oh. You know, if I, if I were a dog, I would want bacon treats every day. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What did you say? Are you talking about food again? Yeah, I love food. You know, man. I, I know that. that. You're always talking about food. Yeah, food. Yeah, yeah. Bring it up, guy. The head. <laughs> I I maybe eat once a day. Yeah. Well, I man, I like food. I just can't eat them. It's like, just have a weight problem, but. I mean, um, uh, if I love it, sweet's cool. I gotta watch what I eat. I have like acid reflux, like a mother. Yeah, my fiance too. She has. I'll wake up like two o'clock in the morning. Yeah, mm. <sighs> mm. I think I have that problem. Two, a couple different things did the acid reflux for me. I used to eat hot dogs at night, but the wheat bread mixed with the beer is what I found was doing it. So. When I went, when I got away from the wheat bread for the, not only the hot dog runs but the, the sandwiches too, and then the beer, those combination, those two things, I would wake up with acid reflux, just burn. Ouch! Chocolate, <laughs> if you eat chocolate at night, chocolate mm. is terrible for you at night. Oh, yeah, because my my sorry, sorry. sorry. She's like my fiance. She had a gallbladder taken out like five years ago, and she can't eat oh. nothing without going to the bathroom. Or she, Show up. She can't even, like, it's bad. She's always in pain, her stomach and everything, and mm, mm. acid reflex and everything else. And yeah, <sighs> terrible. Yeah, I've been pretty lucky. I mean, this does. You would think spicy peppers, all the stuff that I do. You would think that that would cause a lot of heartburn, a lot of acid reflux, and things like that. It doesn't do any of that. Mm. So, That's what I was going to ask you. I was you like, know, I, sorry, I'm good. Oh uh. <laughs> no! I was gonna ask you. I was like, "Oh my God!" With all that chew, with all that hot spicy stuff, and you didn't get acid reflex. Oh, oh if you did, man! Oh, that'd be the worst. I mean, think think about how much Ooh. acid reflux burns when you're not eating spicy stuff and you get acid reflux. Imagine if you had Carolina Reapers or some kind of peppers like that, and you burped that crap Coming up. Coming back on up, oh. fire your throat. Because my throat's on fire when I get had acid reflux without it being spicy stuff. Yeah, you know, That's I don't know crazy. how you can eat those Carolina Reapers. I can barely eat a bell pepper without having hot flashes. <laughs> uh, it, you know, it's, it's just, it, it took time, man. I, again, I went yeah. from not having a channel and liking my Thai food really hot and just slowly challenging myself more and more and more and a little hotter here, a little hotter there. Oh, here's a challenge. Let me try that. Oh, here's the next step up. Let me try this challenge, you know. Oof. If you want to try a hot challenge, I don't know if you – try getting the death nut challenge. Not the 2.0. Try getting the death nut challenge. You want, if, if you could – One to ten, five, what is it? What would you rate it as? I would – for me, it was more like a having not – again, I was freaked out, okay? Having not done any mm -hmm. real challenges or anything, the death nut challenge was the first challenge that I did. Now, I bought it, and I was freaked out by it because of the people that I've seen do it, right? So it sat in my cupboard for probably a month, okay? Then one day I'm out mm -hmm. in the garage in the middle of the summertime, and I'm just sitting there drinking beers, and I'm looking for something to snack on, right? And there, and it's up there. So I said, screw it. I'm going to eat them. So, and I sat there, and I ate them. And, yeah, my nose ran and things like that. But it was so then once I got it, and it wasn't, I didn't do it as a challenge. I just ate the nuts that were in there. Then I was yeah. like, all right, well, now I've got to record it. i got to order another one and actually do the challenge the way it was designed to do. Because you know, you're supposed to put the nuts in your mouth, chew them up for like 30 seconds or a minute, and then wait like <laughs> two minutes before you do the next ones. Yeah, I know. Nuts in your mouth, right, Ann? <laughs> but, can't you, but can't you just throw them in there and go, you know, all of them? You could, but that's not the challenge. Oh, the challenge. Okay. Bill, did you ever go to – there's, there's, there's about two or three nuts in each little pouch, and they progressively get hotter. So you start with, you know, like the beginner of nuts in there, yeah. the beginner nuts in your mouth. There you go. Um, and you just progressively go up. And then after you've done the they whole get those pro nuts. Yeah, exactly. You've got a five-minute afterburn. And, um, yeah. So. Wow. I never had that Have you been, Did you go to Coco's? <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Phil, when you were in Japan, I, I did you go to Coco's? Coco's. Coco's Ichibanya? Nothing? Okay. I'm trying to think of It's what a curry talking. place. Huh? It's a curry place that has like the chicken, the spicy chicken between one to ten. No. Nope. It's in Japan. No. 
Now, see, as a, see, as a young man like that, 19 years of age, I wasn't into all that spicy stuff. You know, I, I actually didn't really get into spicy stuff until probably, well, I was probably in late 20s when I started eating Thai food. And then we just started, me and a guy I uh, used to work with, we start challenging ourselves with hotter and hotter Thai food. You know, we get our Thai food medium plus, and then we started getting our Thai food hot. And then we started getting go, our face. extra hot. How you doing? <laughs> oh, <laughs> they maybe turn on the camera. I didn't want to turn on the camera. <laughs> I'm like left, right. I'm like, Ugh. where, 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 are we, where are we going? Hey, why are you doing this? <laughs> no, it's, it's... Poor colleague is dirty. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Not crazy. Say, mm. poke your fingers yeah, out. Yeah, that's my name. Crazy. Crazy and Crazy Ann. Take uh, my uh, So tacos. <laughs> what about, <laughs> or now, now in Alaska, do you have like caribou on your tacos? Or do you have, you know, like... Um, Tonight was moose. Moose tacos. Yeah. Moose? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Moose. 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 Like a moose taco. Moose yeah. like a taco. Like a moose moose? Yeah, like moose meat. How does that taste like? Moose taco. <laughs> moose meat's awesome. We have in our free I've never had moose meat. We've got elk, deer, caribou, and moose. Wow. Oh. I've had raccoon. I've had possum. I've had squirrel. Possum? I've had ostrich, alligator, <laughs> rabbit, moose. rattlesnake, but I've never had moose. Moose. What does it taste like? Moose. moose. Yeah, it tastes like moose. <laughs> it tastes like moose. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, it depends how you make it, but yeah. I always want to taste moose. Yeah, well, I've heard this I taste a kangaroo. Wow. Well, now oh. you're making me hungry for some moose. Moose <laughs> 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 No. <laughs> I didn't say anything. <laughs> I mean, but definitely, let's try it. I mean, it, innocent ears. No. I didn't do it. Yeah. I didn't say anything. No. Dustin. Wasn't it? I never Dustin, tried moving. Over on your channel. I don't know if you see that comment yet from Dustin Dyson. Keeping it spicy. Oh, I had it. Didn't I? Yes. Cool, Dustin. That's awesome. That's awesome. Wow, moose! All right, then why? Where did y'all? Where did you get the moose at? I didn't think you would eat moose. Like, is that a gift? Backyard? Them? Did you just get it from Walmart? No, my yeah. father-in-law shot it. What? Moose? Yeah, I get all my meat from him. I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't buy meat from the store. I I get it all for free because he goes hunting. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. And then I get all my. For free too. I wonder if Walmart has moose meat. I don't like fish. Oh, yeah. Walmart, yeah, right. <laughs> fish is nasty. Yeah. Halibut's uh, yummy. That's what I get from them. You ever had tried halibut? It's good stuff. It tastes like. I hate habanero pepper and lantern pepper. pepper. No. There's some sure. barbecue sauce on there. There you go. It can taste good. Milk. <laughs> <laughs> Long turn peppers. Let me so far. There we go. Yeah. Just Smoking fry it up a little bit. Yeah. Well, I don't like a salmon. It's disgusting. Phil, have you tried the scorpion pepper Tabasco sauce yet? Salmon? No, I have not. You said you had We do, do have some Tabasco here. Um, that's kind of like my go to sauce. Like if my wife makes something. And I need to spice it up a little bit. That's kind of my go-to sauce here. I mean, I've got plenty of sauces, you know, that I keep down here and whatnot. But a lot of the stuff that I do down here isn't like a daily sauce. This is um, a habanero sauce made right here in uh, Detroit. Yeah. It's actually not that, it's actually not that hot. Well, this is Joe's pepper. I'm sorry. Not hot. I mean, this stuff here is like... Yummy. 
I, I just thought they just call takeout. That's a 1 800 takeout. That's the best. You take out? Oh. It's someone. Oh, we got, we got a Uber system around here now. I forget what they call it. Where now they got people that, you know, basically go to the restaurant and bring you your food from the restaurant so you don't have to drive to the restaurant or carry on anymore. Like, a, okay, like a Walmart. I don't tr I wouldn't trust Walmart to go in my door and leave my groceries and then lock my door back up. You know, I sell Chevys and um, they got a thing now with um, OnStar and Amazon Prime and you can actually have your Amazon package shipped and put in the trunk of your car. Nah. Yep. With OnStar, I couldn't they can trust open anybody. Your, with OnStar, they can open your car when the delivery guy gets there and put your package in your car. As soon as they started doing that, there are guys I work with that had to do it just because they could. To see if it would work. Damn. And phone's glitching out hardcore. So I'm going to uh, head out for tonight. Yeah, Sam, I got a, um, my internet has been going in and out too. too you so go, Frank. I got you, man. See you later, um, Turkey Lake. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll we'll later. I'll talk to y'all later. So um, it's just my internet's just been crazy. Hey, my Thanks, guys. Keep okay, it spicy. Guys. Keep I'll, it I'll spicy. See you later. Keep it spicy. Hey, Eli. stay positive, guys. Yeah, see ya. Bye, Eli. Eli. And then there were three. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, you understand it, yeah. Yes. I knew what I was going to do as soon as it popped up like that. I was like, "Well, we ain't gonna leave it like this, right?" <laughs> what have I ever left it like that? <laughs> yeah, look at the teaser. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. it's, it's a shame you can't see it while I'm sitting here doing the thing. You know, like this could be like a third, and I can still reach the screen and everything, so you can actually see it. But of course, it looks huge. Looks huge. Have you been to the optometrist? They they don't have optometrists in Norway, do they? Everybody goes around thinking everybody looks good because nobody's got any glasses. Hey, he's got glasses. I can put some glasses on. They have glasses. Ooh, sexy specs. Are <laughs> you crazy? The, the naughty school teacher. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she can be naughty, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too much sometimes. <clears throat> I got your turkey leg. Now I can see you. Yeah. And you need new glasses. Scratchy. Yeah, I, when I get my next pair a year or two from now, um, maybe if I get one this year, I don't know. I just I declined some like the anti glare stuff and whatnot, and thought, and I, and I wish I wish I'd taken some of those other features that they offer on stupid glasses. So. Well, this is progressive, and I I don't need that. So. Well, that's what I got. Where they. Uh, Right here is my reading part, and up here is my seeing part. So yeah, I, I thought, I thought my, my glasses worked my way down my face. Next thing I know, my neck's hurting because I'm doing this, trying to read stuff, and yeah. my glasses are all the way down on the end of my nose. Yeah, that's, that's why I only want the reading glasses or computer glasses or something. Yeah. Yeah, and I've got a set at work that are strictly for reading, and I still wind up wearing these things all the time. So. Yeah. Do you have a do you have a reading glasses, Sam? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. You have oh, seen that's right. She's got the great big ones. The yeah. Clark glasses. People call them the Clark Kent glasses. <laughs> they look like Superman. They look or they real nerdy. Oh, a little bit nerdy. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Sorry, but I just had a picture of she's looking like. <laughs> oh, she's studying. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> I love you, Sam. 
What those Lewis and Lane yeah, classic, yeah. Yeah, your you glasses was black, I think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. what now? So, no, I was just thinking maybe we just wrap this up, make it an early night, you know. One of the things. I know Sam's I not going to make it an early night because uh, it's still um, 722 in Alaska. Yep. Yeah, I got it. I got it. 722 in Alaska. 722. That's partying with my lights on. Right? Yep. Of course, Ann, of course, Ann should have been, been in bed, you know, six hours ago. Oh, no. Oh, fuck no. Oh, no, no, no. 11? Are you crazy? No. So. No, no. You think we can uh, find someone to uh, send all these good people to go see? I think you know about somebody already. Do I? Yeah. Sherry. Is Sherry up live? Yep. All right. Do you have the link yet? Hang on. What the heck was that? <laughs> it look like she's live. Oh, there she she's is. She's yeah. live. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know where she's at. She ain't at home, it don't look like. She's at no, her brother's she, house. And she had to drive down and visit her father on the hospital and things like that. So, yeah. Yeah, she's over. She's live. Well, her father always there. <laughs> <laughs> and he's sipping uh, on something. So, yeah, he maybe become, maybe it can be a little fun. <laughs> Well, I just put the link in there if you didn't already get it. Oh, I, 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 I'm gonna write the name and things like that. You don't. Oh know yeah, that. you know me. Yeah, you go so. in a hurry, you know. Yeah, yeah always. Great. All right, everybody. I, hey, crazy Ann, Sam, everybody. I appreciate y'all coming tonight. Kill deer, Dustin Dyson, um, Turkey Leg, Eli family, Shane, everybody. I appreciate you guys hanging out. I love you guys. Do me a favor, stick around, Sam Crazy Ann. Keep okay. it spicy, guys. Keep it spicy. I, I stick. I stick. <laughs> oh, we're going to raid. Sherry McMillan. Thanks. Yeah, after. <laughs>